and tasty? Do you know what that bee is doing? Mm -hmm. Let's find out together. What you saw a while ago was a bee pollinating a flower. So what is pollination? Pollination is the process that allows plants to reproduce. Pollination occurs when pollen is moved within flowers or carried from flower to flower. So how does pollen move from one flower to another? By pollinators. Examples of pollinators are birds, bees, bats, butterflies, moths, beetles, or other animals. Even the wind itself is a pollinator. The wind and rain blows pollen between plants, which causes pollen to transfer to the female reproductive part of the plant. Here's a good example of how pollination occurs. Do you see the legs of that bee? This means that the bee has pollen gathered around his body. When this bee lands on another female flower, the pollen also lands on the female parts of the flower, such as the stigma. Thus, pollination begins. Let's take a closer look at the parts of a flower. Let's start with the male parts of the flower. The filament and the anther. Together, they are called the stamen. Next would be the female parts. The stigma, style, ovary, and ovules. Together, they are called the pistil. Here are fun facts about pollination. The white ruffled lemur is the world's largest pollinator. In the U.S., pollination produces nearly $20 billion worth of products annually. One native leafcutter bee can do the pollination job of 20 non-native bees. The honey opossum is an important pollinator in Australia for the flowers of the eucalyptus tree. The tiny chocolate midge is the only pollinator who serves the cacao plant. And that is all for today's lesson about pollination. I do hope you enjoyed learning about pollination and the parts of the flower. Well, see you soon. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!